Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's make an image dissolve transition. A lot of travel blogs use this kind of transition, and I had a few requests on how to make this. Now, if you're from the broadcast world, you wouldn't use this. This is more of an in-your-face, this is an effect kind of thing that YouTubers really like. It uses the color key uh, effect in Premiere Pro. It's pretty darn easy. Let's go have a look. Here's an example of the effect. You'll see as we move ahead, the sky disappears and starts to reveal the background and the rest of the ground disappears. And now we're looking at the bottom video track. We have two videos here, the top one, the couple riding the motorcycle, and the bottom one is this tree and clouds and a lightning storm in the background. Okay. Let me remove these effects and we'll start from scratch. So you need some kind of overlap between the top video and the bottom. Um, I'm affecting this quite a bit, so I've got a lot of overlap. You could have it as small as you want by dragging that over, but that effect will only occur in that little area right there. Now I am also moving this video down, just changing the position. I just found that while I was removing the key, there was a little bit of, of the, uh, cyclists still in there and I just wanted to, as they're dissolving, move them down below for whatever reason. All right, so let's put that back, grab the top one. In the effects controls panel, in the effects, just type color key. There it is. With this clip selected, all I have to do is double click on this and it shows up. And by default, it's set to this blue color. This is a really old effect and it's normally used for blue screen, green screen kind of effects. Keying is a way to select a color and remove it. So it's normally done for removing a blue background. That's why blue is the default. It's not the best keyer, but it gives you this kind of effect that people do like. It's a chunky pixelated kind of effect. Um, Ultra keyer is much better. And, and of course, After Effects can do this beautiful and smoothly as if it was a gorgeous visual effect. But this is more about in your face. So the color key, when we open that up, has a few settings. Don't worry about the top ones. That's for a mask, which we're not going to use. The color key color, the tolerance, edge thinning, and feather. And really, we're just going to be concentrating on the key color and the tolerance. Right now it's set to blue and this blue really isn't in here, maybe a little bit in um, this area, but I'm gonna select something that represents the majority of this sky. I'll grab the eyedropper and click about this area here. Nothing changes because the tolerance is low. And you'll see as soon as I start to raise the tolerance up, it starts to remove those blue pixels. And that could be an effect right there. I mean, now we're, we're looking at the, the uh, sky in the background and the um, storm that's going on. But we wanna dissolve this all the way. So I'm gonna start with a color tolerance of zero and I'll set my color key tolerance keyframe. So clicking on the stopwatch adds that keyframe right there. And Actually, I am going to make it a little bit further in, and then we'll start to get rid of the video about here. So I don't want any changes from here to here. I'm going to move ahead and drag the tolerance up until it won't go anymore. And the top setting here is 255. And you can see there's still some of the, uh, the bikers left in here. Actually, I think this example is, is a little bit better than my previous one. You can see it's, it's eating away at the green. So the tolerance simply means how many colors are being let into that blue. So I picked one blue with a wider tolerance, it's going to select lighter and darker blues. With an even wider tolerance, it's going to select greenish blue, even wider, green, and all the rest of this, leaving the final uh, example which is this dark color, which isn't 
uh, in the blue family at all. So to keep going, I'm just going to add another color key. So a second one in here, and I'll grab my eyedropper and I'll click on the remaining color. And again, I'll add a color tolerance keyframe at this point. So it starts here, goes to here, and then a new one kicks in, and I'll drag the tolerance up again. Oh, and this one's gone completely. So now we have this. Pretty easy, right? You want to change the timing? Shift the keyframes. Let's say we want this to be faster. So I'll move this one earlier, this one earlier. So remember, these two are locked onto each other. So you can see when I move a keyframe, it will lock to that other keyframe. So now it's going to be even faster. You want it even faster? Let's do that show you something that is more reminiscent of a real transition, less of a visual effect. Boom, there we go. Boom, there we go. Now you can't really save this transition because it's based on two specific colors for that specific motorcycle image, which is part of the bike and the shadows in the bike and the, the color in the sky. So pick two. And, and, and maybe you even need one. Uh, if you can push the tolerance all the way up uh, and remove all of it, then you might be good to go. But in our case, as you see here, we needed two. And even if you need three, you could turn that up. Now let's look at these other settings just so you know what they do. Like I said, People like this kind of a chunky effect in here, but you could turn up the edge feather and that will soften that up. So now instead of that chunky edge, it's more of a soft effect, maybe more ghostly as they start to disappear. So whatever way you like, you've got both options. But this is the one that I've seen quite a bit, especially in travel blog sky kind of things, this exact same thing where it takes away the sky and then takes away the rest of the image. All right, there you go. Pretty darn simple, isn't it? I, I call this thing the image dissolve transition, but it's basically uh, a couple of color keys that you change over time. By the way, all the videos in this uh, tutorial were supplied by um, Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, and 3D objects. Find the perfect asset for your next creative project. Well, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, then you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the, the description and on the front of the channel. And uh, we love our PayPal supporters. Unbelievable, wonderful people uh, coming out and supporting us either one time or a monthly donation. Um, it helps us a lot to keep this uh, channel going with all of our great tutorials. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking for that.